Okay, folks, French fries tonight. All right, we're going to do a challenge, a comparison. We're going to deep fry, pan fry versus air fry. All right, we're going to see how this goes. Right? What's better? Air fried French fries? Deep fried French fries. Let's go. We're still frying in this air fryer. I got it up all the way. It's been like 22 minutes and they're not even getting brown. I don't get it. But that's what's going on. We got these guys here. I have this screen so it doesn't like. We're deep frying and that's what we're doing there. So that's what's happening. I got some chili in there because we're going to do chili cheese fries. I'm just going to warm it up in the microwave. These french fries, we're going to do some walleye. We've got some fresh walleye here we caught yesterday. Got a little milk in a bowl here. We got some shore lunch, original recipe. Boom, in there. Dunk it, dunk it, put it here, and then we're going to fry it. All right, here we go, folks. All you do with this walleye, go ahead. Put it in the milk, shake it off a little excess, throw it in the shore lunch and just get it around. Now this is not like a beer batter or anything, it's just a dusting. You see that? It's just a dusting. Trust me, it's plenty. Excess milk, get it off of there. Alright. Shake it off, put it on a plate. Now what happens with the shore lunch, it does kind of uh, clump up on you after you put several pieces in it. We're only doing a few today, so we, we won't have any problem. Milk, shake it off, shore lunch, dusting, voila, on the plate. Okay, that's how you bread it. Done. All right, folks, for this walleye, here's what we're using. Bam, peanut oil. The Shore Lunch, they recommend peanut oil, it gives it more flavor, so that's what we've got. Over here in the pan, we're going to pan fry it, so I have enough oil in there to cover half the filet. We're not deep frying it, we're pan frying it. So that's getting hot right now. Alright, here we go. Walleye in. A little screen over it. There we go. Three minutes aside. All right, folks, we're gonna flip this. Look at that. You know what? No, I'm gonna let it go another minute. It's been three minutes. I'm gonna let it go another minute. All right, folks, here we go. It's been another minute, and they're gonna be golden brown. If I can just flip it. All right, look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. That's how they should look. Okay? Well, three minutes, we're done. Okay, folks. Now, most people use tartar sauce for their fish. I'm going to show you a little something. Take some ketchup. Make a circle. Okay? I learned this from a guy who owns three seafood restaurants. One day over on Harsons Island, he saw me and I got fish and chips with, and they gave me tartar sauce. He says, do not eat that. So here's what he did. He literally took ketchup and poured a bunch of pepper on it. I go, what in the heck are you thinking? I ain't going to eat that with my fish. He says, oh, hold on. We're going to take some of this malt vinegar. 
We're going to fill up the, sec the, the center of it. And then you put it all over the ketchup like this. He goes, there you go. He goes, that's what I serve on all my fish at my restaurant. He goes, we don't even have tartar sauce at my fish, my seafood restaurants here in Detroit. He owns three of them. So guess what? That's what I do from now on. It's delicious. You can put your french fries in it too. All right, those are the deep fried french fries. These are the air fried. And... You know what? There's not much difference. We've salted them. The deep fried, you can tell there's a little bit more softness, a little bit more oil, but they are so similar. Yeah, hard to tell. Really. I give a thumbs up to the air fried. Obviously, we love the deep fried, right? We got some chili, we got some cheese, we're going to do some chili cheese fries. Here's the walleye, looks amazing. Well there you have it folks, some amazing Detroit River walleye, delicious. Fried in peanut oil, shore lunch breading, and the chili cheese fries, oh just crazy. We probably overdid it a little bit on the cheese at the end there, but uh, fantastic nonetheless. I'm going for the air frying from now on, I think. It's a lot easier, and they were just as good. You know, less oil, probably a little better for you. Well, thanks for watching. hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, make sure you like, share with your friends this video, and uh, you know, click up here, the steak you're going to see in a second. You can click up there and subscribe to my channel. A couple more videos and playlists here, here, and here you're going to see in just a second. Hey, thanks for watching. You have a great day. We'll see you around.